When Star Wars The Force Awakens was released, Rey got a lot of attention for her hairstyle, but the original queen of sci-fi hairstyles had a couple pretty cool looks as well. Keep watching to learn Leia's hair in Star Wars Episode 7. General Leia wore two eye-catching hairstyles in the movie, and I'll show you both of them in this video. This first one is what she wore for most of the film, and is probably the most wearable of the two. To start it, divide off a panel of hair on top of your head that starts halfway up the sides of your head, and spans between your forehead and two-thirds of the way back to your crown. Ponytail the rest of your hair for now to keep it separate. So this style doesn't require super long hair like the classic Leia styles, but it does require thick hair to make the twists manageable. So I'm going to add a couple clip-in extensions at this point because the hair on top of my head is fairly thin. They're optional, but they do make the style a bit easier and nicer looking if your hair is on the thin side. Whether you added extensions or not, next divide this top panel of hair along a straight middle part. Clip one of these halves to your crown in the position it would be if you were pulling your hair into a ponytail. Having silky hair also makes this style more difficult, so now I'm going to spray the other half of hair with some texture spray to give it more grip. Now twist that half towards your forehead so that the twist forms horizontally across the top of your head. Twist it tightly all the way to the ends. Then grab the twist at a point just above your ear, and bend the twist at this point so it drapes back over your head. This loop will want to coil a bit, so let it do so for one full 360 degree rotation. In other words, let the sides of this loop cross once and then twice in the direction that it wants to go. Bobby pin the twisted loop in this spot. Also pin any extra length of the twist so that it's right up behind the beginning of the twist and stays laying over the top of your head. We'll deal with this extra bit later. Make the second twist by unclipping that other half of hair. Texturize if needed, and also twist this towards your forehead, laying horizontally in the opposite direction from the first twist you did. Put a bend in the twist right above your ear, let the loop twist 360 degrees, and pin everything in place. Also pin any extra length right behind the twists. Yay, halfway done! Now take out the ponytail holding the rest of your hair. Divide it in half down the middle of the back of your head. Then texturize one of these halves and twist it upwards, forming the twist across and on top of the other half, keeping the twist low and close to your back hairline. Twist all the way to the ends and then lay this twist in a circle formation up the side of your head and across the top, pinning it right up behind the twists from the first half of the tutorial. Next, twist the other half upwards and lay across the lower back of your head, going in the opposite direction. Lay it in a circle up the side and over the top of your head, and pin right behind the rest of the twists. Finally, if you had any extra hair from the first twists on top of your head, you can gently twist these up and pin them along the circle as well. You'll also want to go check in a mirror and readjust any visible bobby pins so that they're hidden, since it can be difficult to hide bobby pins in crown styles like this on the first go. And here's a shot of the finished General Leia twisted crown hairstyle. The second Leia style is much more costumey. In fact, Carrie Fisher called it a baboon butt in an interview once. But I think it's pretty, so we're gonna learn it. Part your hair down the center to start. Then pick up a chunk from your crown and rope braid it down to the ends. Now find two large foam bumps or bun formers. I like the spongy bun formers for this because you can stick bobby pins into them. And if you can use ones that match your hair color, that's even better. Pin both of these bumps at the crown of your head, taking care to make sure they're at the same height and centered with your part running right between them. Next we're going to drape the rest of our hair over these bumps. I find this easiest to do in sections, so here I'll pick up some hair from the front and lay it over the top of the bump, pinning it there to keep it in place. Drape the next section over and pin there as well, taking care to smooth it out so it blends into the first section. Now add another section, and finally the last one. For these back sections, make sure to brush them up to make them smooth, or else you might get little bumps or shark fins near the roots that don't look so pretty. Along with holding the sections over the bump with bobby pins, I'm also going to shoot the hair with some hairspray to keep it looking smooth. There should be a tail of hair hanging in front of your face now, but just brush that out of the way, because we'll need it there later. 
Repeat all this again on the other side of your head to cover the second bump. Now that all but the rope braid is draped over the bumps and hanging in your face, cross these tails one over the other. Drape one in front of the nearest bump and spritz with a bit of hairspray to hold it together. Where this tail passes the bump, split in half and loosely rope braid it to the ends. Then at this point, I don't actually know what's going on because we don't get to see the back of the hairstyle in the movie and I couldn't find any good pictures online, so I'm going to make something up. You can get creative with this as well. I'm going to drape this braid around the back of the bump and pin any extra length in between the hair bumps. With the second tail of hair, also drape it across the front of the nearest bump. As you're working, it's a good idea to ensure that your hair bumps are completely covered with hair. So spread sections out if you need to cover everything. Split the hair tail in half where it passes the bump, loosely rope braid, and drape the braid around the back, pinning the extra length in between the hair bumps. Now there's one final step. We still have the first rope braid hanging out, so grab that and drape it over the top of your bumps and lay it in the middle. Pin it to the point where it meets the top of your head in front. Now along the length of this rope braid, tug on sections on one side of the braid to fan them out a bit. This will help them look like flower petals for the next part. Then beginning at the end of the braid, coil it up. It should begin to look a bit like a flower. When you've coiled the whole length up to where you pin the braid to your head, position this flower centered in front of your hair bumps and pin it down. The tricky thing with hair flowers is that you want to hook hair from the middle of the flower to keep the braid ends from popping out, but you don't want the bobby pin to show when you do this. So take your time in a mirror in order to secure the whole flower without showing any pins. And that's Leia's gorgeous baboon butt hairstyle. I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you want to learn more Star Wars styles like this, you can click on the videos below, or check my YouTube channel, Sivu Plates. Also, I wouldn't be able to make these videos without the support of my viewers, so if you like what I do, please consider visiting my Patreon page at patreon.com slash If you sign up as a patron, I can offer you some extra perks and appreciation. And as always, thanks for watching and hope to see you again soon.